making videos, there's a lot of parallels to making um, music. It's, 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 obviously, it's music for your eyes. Well, I look back at it, I know I had a great time. And there were some very interesting things done in the, in the early 80s with video. Along with partner Kevin Godley, Law Cream pioneered the art of video making during the early 80s and co-directed some of the first videos ever made. They directed videos by Duran Duran, Wang Chung, Herbie Hancock, and The Police. We saw this program on TV, and the program on TV was about those old black and white movie clips. And we thought, what a great look. And we thought, slow the whole thing down, you know, maybe kind of take your time. Yeah. That was the, how we started our relationship making videos with The Police. And MTV really kind of made the business open up, became an industry. And it was rather lucky to find ourselves uh, at the top of the pyramid because we'd done a few. Not only were Lal and Kevin pioneers of video making, they also opened doors for R&B and jazz artists that hadn't been featured on the predominantly rock and roll music channel. Among their classic videos was Herbie Hancock's Rockin'. With Herbie, there was the fact that it was so, not only that it was beautifully played and a weird and wacky track, but it was this scratching thing which had just arrived. Rocket became a smash hit and won a Grammy for Best R&B Instrumental Performance. In addition to directing music videos, Lal and Kevin also teamed up to record the 1985 hit, Cry. This video would go on to inspire the directors of Michael Jackson's 1992 hit, Black or White. It's so nice to be at the forefront of anything because they can't tell you you're doing it wrong. And it's a marvelous way to do stuff wrongly <laughs> and get away with it. <laughs>